Good to go. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're all okay and are looking forward to returning to school next week. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. Welcome to our act of worship today, which is on the theme of love of learning. Love of learning is one of our virtues. If you have a love of learning, you have a desire for knowledge and are happy learning new things and growing in understanding. You are attracted by what is worth knowing and away from what is not. You give time to learning and you seek what is true and what is good. You do not give time to rumour or gossip. You are open-minded and open to change. Please join me in making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A quote from the Colossians in the Bible says, Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord, and not for men. I would like you to remember this when we return to school next week. Work hard and learn lots so you can have life to the full. Love of learning is our virtue for the week. And linked to this, our thought of the week says that every day is a chance to learn. Every day in school is certainly a chance to learn. But what I want to highlight today is how every day and indeed every waking moment is a chance to learn. Opportunities for learning are all around us. And even if you think you don't like learning, you are continually learning new things. Personally, I love learning, and I would say that I learn a new thing every single day. Later on in the assembly, I'm going to ask you to reflect about what you learnt yesterday. I've already reflected on what I learnt yesterday. Yesterday, while reading my book, I learnt the meaning of a new word, visceral. I didn't know what the word visceral meant in English, but I looked it up on my phone and then the message in the sentence made sense to me. I listen to the radio every day and yesterday I learned that the amazing blinding lights by the weekend has been in the top 40 for an incredible 60 weeks and is still number 15 in the charts. When I'm cooking dinner, I often have the TV on in the background and yesterday I learned from a question on the chase that St Paul doesn't appear in the Gospels. One of my favourite ways of learning is actually from you. I learn lots from my pupils and whilst marking one of my pupils work yesterday who had made the effort to find an original piece of vocabulary, I learned that mojarse in Spanish means to get soaked or to get drenched. How brilliant is that? And I love cooking and I often make new dishes, which is a form of independent learning. Yesterday, I followed a recipe from one of my favourite chefs, Tom Kerridge, and with just a few simple ingredients, I made a delicious dinner, a Spanish hake bake. Fue muy rico. Now it's time for you to reflect on what you learned yesterday. Don't just think about what you learned at school, but also what you learned during the course of the day outside of school also. For example, through talking to people, watching a film, listening to the news, or simply by opening your eyes, heightening your awareness of your surroundings and observing things whilst out on a walk. Nelson Mandela was a South African nationalist who spent 27 years in prison for fighting against the country's system of racial segregation called apartheid. He spent the first 18 years of his incarceration 
in solitary confinement in a prison on Robben Island, just off the coast of Cape Town. During this time, the inmates could apply to study certain subjects. And Robben Island became known as the university behind bars. Nelson Mandela studied Afrikaans, the language of his oppressors. He read their literature and poetry and came to have a deep understanding of their culture. He was released from prison in 1990 and became the president of South Africa in 1994. What he had learned whilst in prison helped him to usher in a peaceful transition to majority rule in the country's first multi-ethnic government. He said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So your mission next week is to return to school and ignite your love of learning. You can do this by listening carefully to your teachers, your friends and your family, by reading a book, a magazine or a newspaper, watching TV or a film, listening to the radio or podcasts, using an app to teach yourself how to play an instrument or to speak a new language, or reinforce your own learning and support your friends by helping them with their learning. I would also like you to go away and think about what you have learned by simply attending this assembly and listening about the experience of Nelson Mandela and his love of learning. Has this inspired you to want to know more and to want to learn more? For example, if you enjoy reading, you could read Nelson Mandela's autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom. If you are passionate about science, you may enjoy finding out more about the indigenous plants and animals in South Africa. And if I were you, I'd start by Googling the big five. If you like geography and would like to travel and see the world, you could find out about Cape Town and all the wonderful things there are to see and do there, including the magnificent Table Mountain in the background of the picture there. The historians amongst you may want to research the colonial and military history of South Africa. You may discover why there is a stand called the Cop at Anfield. Language lovers like me can examine the meaning of the word apartheid and discover similarities between Afrikaans and Dutch and the reason why. So the final thought I would like to leave you with today is we learn for free every day in the UK, at school, at home, everywhere. If you embrace it and make the most of it, you'll become confident, independent and interesting and you can be whatever you want to be and change the world. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for the gift of education. We are grateful for the free education we receive in the UK and pray that as we return to school next week, we take every opportunity presented to us to learn and support and allow, allow those around us to learn also so that we can all have life and have it to the full. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.